today with spiny lobster from Panama. An amazing kind of lobster and I'm going to show you how good it is. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make spiny lobster from Panama. And you can do it anytime at home. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a pot of water and we're going to add some dry thyme, some of Chef Pachi's seasoning for seafood, or you can use Old Bay, and a lot of salt. So we are trying to imitate the sea salt where we got that lobsters from. Bring that to a boil and now we're going to add our lobster tails. We have fresh lobster tails that if we had frozen at any point, we need to take them back to at least cool room temperature. Do not put them frozen because this is going to cool your water down so much it's going to take them too long to cook. 5 minutes for the tiny lobsters and 10 for the large ones and we are ready to go. Check it out. They are absolutely beautiful. So simple to make. It's amazing. It's like large shrimp. And the two big ones were huge and the two tiny ones were normal. They look smaller here, but I mean, these are normal lobster tails. So for the little ones, you can just cut the back in half or on the sides and just peel off the meat from the lobster like if it was a big shrimp. These are spiny lobsters we have in Panama. So you should do this with a piece of cloth because otherwise your hands are going to become a disaster. But I wanted to show you exactly how I do it and that's why I am using my bare hands. I don't do it like this all the time. Sometimes I do. But it's better if you use a piece of cloth. Here we go. It is important that your lobster meat is not overcooked because remember it is still warm inside and they are going to finish cooking completely one or two minutes after you bring them out of the pot. With these bigger lobster tails, we are going to have to cut off all those tiny fins and also the back of the lobster. These are very large lobster tails. These were lobsters that were about two to three pounds and it is much better to buy them a little bit smaller. They are so amazing and beautiful like you've seen on the picture that I'm showing that when I see them I just have to get them. They are beautiful. Here we go, same thing. Take out those little swimming fins and cut the ends. Take it out just as if it was a huge shrimp. Just don't be afraid. Cut into that hard skin with some shears and just peel it off. Take out that skin with your hand and you are ready. Look at it. These are huge tails. I don't think you can see how big they are from the video but they are huge and beautiful and our dish is going to be amazing. If we were at the ocean, we just boiled them in ocean water. That's how they used to do it when I was small. Check out the difference between the lobster tails. It's amazing. Now we just slice them and that's it. Slice them from top to bottom and get some beautiful rounds and we're ready to go. We slice each one of them. They are tender. Use a good sharp knife so the cuts are beautiful. And we are going to enjoy this lobster simple. We're going to make two different recipes. One with an aioli that I make with yogurt and the other with an amazing balsamic from Modena that is aged and beautiful that is called Oro, O-R-O, because it has a subtle taste. I'm going to make the aioli with yogurt, the garlic, salt and pepper, olive oil, and lime juice. You can use lemon juice, but here we get limes. And 
we just mix it. I make it with yogurt for two reasons. For one, because it's much easier than having to make my own mayonnaise. And I usually make my own mayonnaise. I don't like it, but... And two, because I use it for other recipes where I might need a higher protein content. Beautiful, simple, spread some on a plate and add those amazing lobster pieces. How about that? Simple and beautiful is the name of lobster. It's the best way to serve it and you'll enjoy it. Add some spice, beetle spice, or in case you made shirpachi spice mix. Then just cover and serve. Beautiful dish you can make anytime you find the lobster. To defrost your lobster tails if you buy them frozen, put them in cool water, not in warm water, and let them sit wrapped and sealed in the water until they're defrosted. For our second dish, we're gonna add our walnut oil on the plate, a little bit of spice, and then we're gonna add our lobster. Whenever you use these nut oils that are so flavorful, use them when you serve your dish, not to cook. This way, you're gonna protect your oil and you're gonna enjoy the full flavor of it. It is worth it, they are beautiful. With the second plate, all we do is add a slice of red onion, a little of that oil and spice, and the balsamic vinegar that I tell you that is very, very soft because it's aged. It's not a sweet concentrated balsamic, it's just an aged balsamic that is less tart and less acid. Serve it with some beautiful parsley, and voila! A perfect, beautiful meal in seconds. Enjoy lobster. Go ahead, buy some, cook them, and enjoy them. It is beautiful and delicious. Chef Pachi. Delicious food. Amazing food. Enjoy. Chef Pachi.